96 rated. 96. Alejandro Ganacho. They've juiced him. Now, I've got a 94 rated Evo. Very similar to this card on paper, but... I'm still doing this anyway because of how much I rated that Team of the Season card. The finesse shots were unbelievable. We got rapid, we got incisive. Trickster, is it like technically still free play style pluses? Does that even count as an extra play style plus? I've got potentials there as well, but is he worth the price? For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. So 5 star, 4 star, mostly explosive. Of course, these are live cards. Now, in regards to Garnacho and the Argentina team, he didn't feature in their recent friendly. I believe that was this morning. However, he has been featuring a little bit. So he's going to be with the team for sure. He needs to get appearances in order to get upgrades. Uh, so hopefully that happens. Fingers crossed. He's a great play. He should at least make sub appearances in regards to goals, etc. Anything's possible with Copper America. Should be pretty favoured fixtures in the group stages at least. But if any of you are more clued up than me, let me know down below in the comment section. But let me just say Garnacho might be one of my favourite players on this game. Like that team of the season moments Evo. I went from 92 red to 94. He finessed like no other. It was flying top bins every single time. He finessed the ball. It was beautiful. I don't know why as well. It just genuinely felt so, so good. The agility, the balance, the rest of the gymnast stats are brilliant. The speed, the passing. He's got stamina. With no base relentless, but 92 should be fine there, realistically. We've got technical, quick step base, which is beautiful, partnered with Rapid Plus. Trickster, I guess, is a fun playstyle to add, but it could have been something more meta, like a ping pass, for example. That would have been beautiful. But we do have Incisive, which is a different element to a Garnacho card. Finesse he keeps, which is beautiful. Long ball pass, ping pass, base, flare, first touch, and acrobatic. I am excited to review this card. Let me know what you think down below, guys. Are you looking forward to getting him in your team? Whilst you're letting me know in the comment section, make sure to smash the like button. Show me that support you guys keep giving me daily. In regards to price, according to Footbin, 480k. I'm not going to look into that too much as of yet. We're going to hang fire for now. Check it during the gameplay to see if it uh, basically balances out. Chemstar wise, I really want to max out the shooting as much as possible. I think Dead Eyes, Dead Eye might be the way here, right? Basically juice that finishing as well as the passing. Let's do that and then dive straight into the gameplay. Let's go then. Foot champs qualies is where we're at. I've got a feeling, by the way, the amount of Argentinian SBCs, objectives, of course, with Enzo that are getting added. Do you reckon we're going to have like an Argentina foot champs Objective maybe where we unlock an English card. It would be fitting right already. We're looking a little bit technical here rapid plus beautiful cut inside I want to showcase these finesses from distance Didn't even green it and this inch is over pick it on one more Mbappe Garnacho I should have done better. I should have probably should have finessed it to be fair or gone for the Travella but the left stick Feeling lively. There's, of course, going to be a lot of similarities to the Evo that I've used a lot. He's like my go-to super sub in space. One touch. Foot around it. Right. We need, to, we need to warm up a bit here. I'm not hitting these greens. I mean, there's a green. And that is a beautiful effort. I love those crazy power shots, by the way. Rafa. Look at... Hold up. Where's my opponent's defense? Movement's good from Bakayo. And let's stat pad as much as we can. I don't know where my opponent's team just managed to, but I'll take the goal. Mbappe, that's class. Garnacho. Oh, it's beautiful. We're in on goal. Near post OP. Gone for the green. Probably the finishing decision there on myself. Should have taken it around the keeper, but still big save. On the edge. There we go. Redemption's there. We get the second. The brace on for that debut, Hattie. All right. Going to change the chem style for game number two. I'm going to go for Marksman this time around. Let's just uh, see how that really fine-tunes the physicals a little bit, as well as just maxing out as much of the dribbling as possible. Because that boost to the finishing reactions, ball control dribbling, is just crazy. Definitely the chem style for him. But a brace on the debut. Can we one-up it? Hattie incoming. All right. Come on, then. In we go. Hat trick pending. That's all we've got on our list. And of course, ping as many nice finesse shots as possible. We'll take that. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, 
Do get a little whip on that one. The left stick control is crazy, crazy good on the card. Like his dribbling is, it's up there with some of the best for sure. Put your foot for it, lads. We got a penalty. Now, those penalties are so soft. Like I hate conceding them, but obviously I'm not complaining when it goes my way. Alejandro from the spot, 86 pens. We're going to dink it bottom left. Why not? <laughs> I mean, there we go. That's it. Give us the lead. Thank you. Kaya, well battled. Up to Enzo. Fizzle it. Garnacho. I can't hit these greens, man. I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit off right now. Mbappe, one search. There's the green. Alejandro rifles that in the top corner. Decent positioning again. Like he's almost playing a second striker for me in the way my team's set up alongside Mbappe, and he's doing bits there. It's just the dribbling, just this his whole round, like all round game. It's almost perfect for my kind of play style. That's why I got on so well with his other version. Release him. Big touch into space. <laughs> that's the hat trick, right? Pretty certain that's a 14 minute hatty for the boy. Lovely left stick control and have it. The power, the venom in the strikes. Beautiful. All right, game number three with the boy. Can we keep going? Goal scoring machine so far, lighting up this left hand side. But no outside the box finesse shot for me as of yet. Until now! Inches. Oh, almost lucky with the rebound. But trust me, if you're greeting these finesse shots, there's not many better. You know, seriously, the whip and the venom he gets on the strikes, so, so nice. There we go. Just like that. Trust me, they're dangerously good. This could be a little one no rage quit here. Alejandro Garnacho tearing it up in that left center forward striker-esque kind of role. Versatility, I feel like you are very limited to playing him on the left though. That's something to consider for sure. He could do a job on the right, only the four-star weak foot, so you're missing out on finesse shots like that. So six goals in total for Garnacho. A nice little uh, all-rounder. A couple of finesses, some nice driven strikes as well. Finishing all-round was, was pretty decent. As long as you hit the green. I was red timing or orange timing a fair amount of strikes, but they're still fine in the back of the net. The main takeaways for sure, like the similarities to his team this season, Evo that I've done, the speed, the dribbling, like he's just crazy, crazy cracked. Like the left stick, the controlled sprint, it's beautiful. You can have some fun with the card for sure. He's got rapid plus as well. I'm pretty certain the team this season moments has quick step. This one feels noticeably quicker, especially whilst dribbling. That's 100% a new thing here. Flair, first touch I'm a fan of. Of course, Trickster, if you want to get funky and do some nice skill moves, incisive, an element we didn't really test, but you've got decent enough passing stats that this could be effective as well as ping pass, long ball pass, and then the old faithful finesse shot. Now, in regards to the card, is he worth the price tag? 459k, I think is well priced for the SPC. I feel like anywhere in that 400 to 500k is roughly what I was expecting, so I'm happy that EA have done this. Induce them to a 96 is big. Like I'd happily pay this price tag for this card alone, not even considering the fact that you can get upgrades. Now, is he going to get the upgrades? Unfortunately, the SBC is only live for a whole week, so I'm pretty certain we, or maybe we just get their first game. If you know, let me know what their schedule is, but if we can see Argentina play before the SBC expires, there's no harm in waiting just to see if he's in the squad. We need to get appearances for the chemistry boost and also goals assists. The first game is against Canada, so that's something to take in mind. They probably should be getting goals there. And also, this Argentina theme is taking over. The amount of SBCs and objectives, I wouldn't be surprised if this man is going to be used in a foot champs objective very, very soon. But in my opinion, cracking card, massive fan. And definitely worth doing. Honestly, if you've not done Javi Simmons yet, Garnacho's the man. Don't do Simmons, do Garnacho. He's a demon. Let me know your opinion down below, though, guys. I've been Morsi. Subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I'll catch you tomorrow.